Disasters, whether natural or man-made, have always been a fact of life for coastal communities. And Tracy Sempier has played a key role in implementing the Coastal Resilience Index, one of the most influential programs for coastal resilience planning. So after Katrina, it was found that communities had a real need for baseline data so that they could measure if they were coming back after, um, after the storm. And so the, the genesis of the index is really a self-assessment to allow them to reflect on the, both the places where they have strengths and also the places where they have weaknesses and they want to identify those so they can move forward, identify some action items in order to, um, in order to increase their resilience. In her roles with the Mississippi-Alabama Sea Grant Consortium and the Gulf of Mexico Alliance, Tracy has made a real difference. We now have 74 trained facilitators across the Gulf of Mexico. We have um, 49 communities that have completed the index. And um, then the communities have been so creative with the ways that they have decided to address some of their vulnerabilities. Um, it's really run the gamut from trying to um, help their local businesses become more resilient to um, uh, incorporating climate conditions into their hazard mitigation plans. Um, just, it, it's amazing to me how uh, self-aware they are um, and after completing the tool are able to just kind of get that momentum that they need to, to take action and move forward. The folks who know and work with her say she has that rare combination of technical expertise combined with leadership abilities and people skills that motivate folks and inspire trust. Without her leadership, I don't think that these efforts would have gone as far as they've gone. These have all been team efforts. Uh, a lot of people across the Gulf are working on this issue, but I think if you talk to any of them, they would identify Tracy as a leader, and I think that it's fantastic that she's being recognized as such. And Tracy's enthusiasm for what she does is just plain infectious. She looks for buy-in from, from everybody involved, and with that, she's very perceptive um, about what their needs are in order to make their job better and she's able to bring that knowledge to the entire team and help the team succeed because she knows what each individual member of the team needs. She's just a nice person. I mean, I've probably never met anyone any nicer than her, as friendly, as engaging as Tracy is. And Tracy has a tendency to fool you because she comes across as such a nice person. You, you might forget that she's also a PhD and technically qualified. Uh, those are dangerous people because they are, they do work on that boundary between science and policy. As for Tracy herself, she says she wouldn't want to do anything else. This is extremely rewarding. It's, you do something new every day. You meet amazing people, you learn from their stories, you have an opportunity to, to see what they're doing really well within their community, and then you know the next day you might be in a different community and you can share that information. It's all about knowledge sharing, helping connect the dots between communities, and really um, across the Gulf, helping us to become more resilient as we um, move forward. Congratulations to Tracy Simpier, winner of the 2015 Gulf Guardian Award in the individual category.